hello guys welcome back to tech stack insider in today's video we are going to talk about project cafe that is data labeling okay so before we start this project pays 19.50 per hour that's in dollars okay that's approximately 20 dollars per hour okay so you'll be asking what is this project about so um crowdgen is trying to train an ai model that can i mean listen to your your voice okay and then transcribe it into text so how they do that is that they'll give you an image so you are going to examine the image and then make a recording an audio recording of you describing everything you see in that image do you understand now if you look at my screen i've gone to the project page for you and i know by now everybody is getting this project because um i don't know they massively need workers on this project so everybody is going to see this on your dashboard so how are you going to go about it okay so that's what my, i'm explaining to you okay now if your accent is not according to the location you chose you are not good you are not going to do well in this job that's for sure okay now this dog needs I mean a direct US accent because they're going to check the fluency of your accent, how you talk. Okay, that's how they are going to use it to train the AI model to talk like someone in the United States. Do you understand? Now, if I apply for the project, we are going to um, be doing some processes. That's to apply for the job, to do some certain quizzes, and then to you know do government id verification and everything you understand so once we know about the job if you see this just click on try again all right if you see this just click on try again so as i was saying you're going to complete your government id and then also your tax compliance note your tax compliance don't make mistakes with your tax compliance the name and address and the ssn should match now on this page, you see that there will be some processes that we have to do. I've already done so. This is just an agreement form that you need to accept. And then the second one is an English comprehension test. This is what I'm going to do with you. Okay? This comprehension test is not difficult. It's not difficult. It's just like them asking you some English sentences and asking you to, like, they, they will give you English sentences and then they'll ask you to. Uh, I mean, click on choose the option that they are act okay. Let's say they're giving you some story, some short story, and then they ask you what happened here, what happened here. It's just like you reading and then you know, answering questions that are going to give you. You understand? So, at first, when I was doing this, I thought it was the old fashioned way of assessing people. In English that's when you are going to listen to an audio and then key in what you hear but in this version they are going to give you some questions and then ask you um, sorry some um, stories I don't know if I, I could call it stories yes some stories and then you are going to be asked what happened what happened what happened all these kind of questions here so this thing that i was setting was for the previous uh, i mean the old-fashioned english assessment i didn't know that a, it was different from this one so i was just trying to set up the the document that i was going to use to you know uh, share information between my phone and then my laptop okay so you can do that with google documents 
So if you have the Google document on your phone and you have on your laptop, you just type it, create a new document and type it will appear on your laptop. So I'm just trying to use it to transfer information from my phone to my laptop. So at some point we notice I noticed that it does not what we need, so I had to reject it, I had to stop using it. So moving forward, we went to the the the, the, um, the test. Okay. Now this is how it looks like. Okay. You're going to see some lines of questions. Yeah, you have to read the passage and then choose the correct answer according to the options we give you. Right. So what I did was that I downloaded um, AI models on my phone. Um, I, I downloaded ChatGPT, I downloaded Grok, I downloaded DeepSeek, and then uh, the last one was ChatGPT with DeepSeek. Yes, I think this three. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a picture on your phone. If you're using iPhone, just take a picture. Okay. Now the iPhone gives you option for you to copy the text, so you can copy the text or you can just put the image itself into the AI model. Three of them. Put it one by one. Open ChatGPT. Put it there. Open Google. Put it there. Open um, DeepSeek. Put it there. Open Gemini. Put it there. Okay. Now run all of them. So you will see that to all if if they all choose the same answers, then the answer you are going to choose is probably correct. That's what I was doing. But um. I read to a part that I made a mistake that I used um, only one model that gives me a wrong answer while the others didn't give me an answer. So for that part I made a mistake and I called it wrong. Okay. So the same the same procedure for this one, take a picture on your phone, move it to AI models like ChatGPT and the um GPT and DeepSeek and uh, Rook or Gemini. Okay, so that's how I was using to you know answer these questions. So I think this was the second question that I had to answer. Okay, and the options uh, the use of traditional materials is preferred over modern techniques is. In construction, that's based on the based on the the script I read above. Okay, so I'm going to use the options: option A, option B, option C, option D. So for this one, the answer is option B. Okay. Now let's carry on with this one, and let's take a picture, go and then use it on our phone, and get back here and then answer the question. Yes, so we notice I got this one wrong, and then they gave me the answer below. So the question I chose was sorry, the answer I chose was wrong. So now let's check the row answer. So if you scroll down, you see that the row answer was B instead of it was C instead of B. Okay. So let's carry on and move on to the next one. Okay. 
Okay, so just like just like what I was saying, you take a picture. You take a picture and then you know you go to your AI models and put them in. So th this this part is just eight questions and then the past mark, the past percentage that you need to get was seventy five percent. So if you get eighty and above, you've passed. Okay. So just like how I was doing it, this one too. You take a picture, send it to AI models place them in it so that it will generate the answer for you if all the ai models give you the same answer that means that that particular answer is correct okay so um let's do yes so i think this is the last part that we need to So now you can see that we've passed the test. Okay, the English proficiency test um, status is is what we are going to do. Okay, so um, we've passed the comprehension. So we are going to English for proficiency. Now, what is the English proficiency that we are going to do? So um, with this part. They are going to allow you to record yourself describing a, an image that you are going to see. That's the main purpose of this test. Now, this is the most this is the most important and then the most difficult part compared to the previous one. So, the way you are going to do, go about this is that if you are from the United States, you don't have any problem. Okay, if you are from the U.S., you can just I mean, you can just use your normal. You can just use your normal accent to, you know, just start recording. So you click on start recording, talk about what you see in the image, and then I mean, send it. You don't need to precisely see everything. You just want to get your your accent fluency. Okay, how fluent is your accent? That's what they, they need to get. That's what they need to see. So if you're from the US. This 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 one is a big clash for you, but if you are from a different country, okay. So I'm going to show you a way you can go about this. Okay, if you're from a different country, 
what you're going to do now is that you're going to save the image or screenshot it okay screenshot the image screenshot the image and then go to your 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 ai models like i use gemini because gemini is good in um, photo description And you paste the image here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the description that they gave you in the uh, the test. In the test, so in the test, they gave you an, um, some form of instruction that you need to what abide with. Okay, so you just have to type that instruction here and then run the AI model. So it's going to So, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the image that the test that was generated from, from the AI model, okay? So now this is the test, we just copy it and then go back to our, go back to our test, okay? So we are going to open Microsoft Clipcam. Okay. Now, what is Microsoft Clipcam? is it's a video editor. Okay. In every Microsoft or any computer, any Windows computer, it's a free tool that is used to watch. The, um, I mean, edit your videos. So in this editor, they have some free AI models that speak. Okay. If you need AI models that can talk, um, make voiceovers. This software is the best this now, image shows a like classic to, urban street scene in the street foreground a prominent yellow taxi so cab go to your search just search for microsoft clip cam now when it pop up okay open it and then choose text to um, um test to speech okay that's what we are going to choose test to speech now if you click on it choose ava as your ai model that goes. so as i was saying you are going to download the audio okay find a way to send it to your phone or mobile device or any other device you have so the idea is that you are going to play the audio aloud okay as a volume play it loud now you're going to use your laptop to record the audio so you can use your airpod or any mic if you have portable mic so you can use it so you're going to list make the airpod listen to the audio whilst you are recording in the test so after you're done recording okay you have to analyze and then submit that was that's simply what i'm going to do okay so thank you again thank you once more